I am not channeling anyone. Hey guys, it's John out here on the back deck. It is way overcast, but I'm sitting on the back deck enjoying this magnificent mug of coffee. People will often ask me who I'm channeling, or they'll say, John, when you were, when you were talking, I could tell you were channeling. And the concept of channeling is interesting because that implies that it's not me. That implies that it's, that it's something speaking through me or something, someone speaking through me. And the reality of it is, is, is it's not someone speaking through me. It's not, and, and most channeling isn't. Uh, some people would say that, 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 you know, it, this entity is speaking through me, this entity is speaking through me. You don't need middlemen between you and God. You're connected to God. The idea of some higher being channeling words through you is, is negating that the person in front of you is divine. It, negate, it negates the word namaste. It negates it to say someone's channeling. Because what you're saying is you are a lesser being and some bigger entity speaking through you, some higher entity speaking through you. When I, when I have those moments of just clear thought flowing, and, and you can see it on videos, I'll just start talking and it'll, I'll start talking real fast and, and, and information will just flow without, it doesn't, looks like I'm even thinking about what I'm saying, it's just pouring through. That's not channeling in the sense that it's somebody else speaking through me. That is me being completely fearless because our connection to God is found in fearlessness. And when, we, when, when I get into a flow on something like that, it's because I am, I am fully releasing my fears and anxieties and just saying whatever comes out of my mouth without judging it. Most people judge their words before they come out. Sometimes I don't, you know, and I, I judge my words before they come out. I judge my words while I'm making videos, right? But sometimes it, there's a moment where you just let go of your fear without judgment. And that's the moment that you can speak with fluidity straight from your higher self. So it's not, if I'm channeling anything, I'm channeling, channeling me. I'm channeling my higher self. There is no entity speaking through me. There is no, I personally declare it to be the, the oneness. You know, I'm, I'm opening up to my divinity, which is connected to the oneness of God. So when I'm doing that work and I'm letting that stuff come through me, it's not about some other entity. And usually what's interesting is when it is another entity and someone's saying it's another entity, it's less about the entity and more about the, the channeler's belief that the, the, in the hierarchy and the, they need somebody to bring information through because they don't feel worthy of it. They don't feel they're divine. They, they have to look at something else outside of themselves, right? When you seek a path, a path is laid before you, but until you turn the path back to yourself, you never find the doorway. Everything is coming from within. Everything is connected. You are connected to God in every moment of every day. There's, there's no need for middlemen, and there is no hierarchy. Everyone talks about this hierarchy, and, and to me, it's so antithetical to what every spiritual teacher talks about. They all talk about oneness. There is no hierarchy in oneness. There is just oneness. You know, one plus one equals one. And even in the concept of Hinduism, when they talk about the sit and the sit sat ki, you know, the God consciousness and the individual sparks of consciousness within, it's just the individual sparks of consciousness within the oneness. It's that identity, it's that awareness, which is the, what the word ego means, so the, the awareness of individuality. And when you look at it from that perspective, you start to realize that you are creating something new. You are creating something different. And I'm going to have to step inside real soon because it's starting to spit rain on me and I don't want my camera to get wet. So if you believe in the hierarchies of, of the, the spiritual realm, I completely respect that belief. I don't believe that in any way, shape, or form. I think it's all far simpler. It's all one. And when I look at the someone telling me that something's channeling through me, it it may be their belief, but the fact that they're projecting it on me and telling me that's what it is, 
is is I think is is disrespectful to my beliefs. You know, I don't tell you that you have to believe as I do. But when someone's telling me, John, this is what's happening to you, I often get people who come on, I had, and, and, and literally I had someone say, well, I understand more what's happening with your life than you do. You know, I understand why you're having the, the, the past life experience. I get people who try to put themselves in authority over me all the time. Someone just recently on my, on my other channel started saying, I hope this helps you understand more. And I, and I, as I, as I, and he did like, he literally bombarded my channel with this, putting himself, trying to put himself in a little authority over top of me. And the things he was saying made no sense to me because they were completely antithetical to what I was saying. They were completely opposite of what I was saying. And when I was looking at it, I was just like, you know, you're not an authority over me and you're not in a hierarchy over me. You know, you're only in a hierarchy over yourself. You only have the ability to be the authority for yourself. And when I'm doing that work, it's not because something outside of myself is speaking through me. It's me releasing the things that 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 obscure the view of my divinity. It's me. It's me stripping away the physical world and just becoming more clear. And in, by, do, by doing that, I'm creating a, a, a different perspective. I'm creating a different outcome. I am literally allowing the words to flow from my higher self. Right? So if I'm channeling anything, I'm channeling me. You know, if I'm, and what is my higher self? Connected to the oneness of God. So I'm connected to the oneness. So I'm channeling the oneness if I'm channeling anything. But this idea that you are channeling, you know, some other entity, that is completely, in my mind, a, a negation of my divinity. And I think, it's, I think it's very interesting. People often think I channel Jeshua. I don't. I don't channel my mom. I don't channel aunt, my Uncle Bob, you know. I don't, I don't cherry, channel anybody, right? I, I literally am just stripping away the things that obscure the view. And I everyone has this ability. You know, come back to a very fully present, fearless moment. Be completely present, completely fearless, and just start talking. And you'll you'll find that it all the information is right there for you too. It's a matter of you stepping into that divinity. You realizing that your higher self, without the limitations of fears, anxieties, and stresses of the world, is extremely wise. You have infinite wisdom within you. And it always comes back to you deciding to take that infinite wisdom and live into it fully. Because once you do take that infinite wisdom and live into it fully, you'll start having that wisdom flow through you. And I, I think that, you know, each one of us is divine. Each one of us has the ability to step into that power. But it, it does take each one of us to acknowledge that we're divine to not think we're less than anybody else or that we need middlemen to touch God. It's all right here, right now. And when you when you realize that the only thing that's stopping you from direct connection is your belief that you're not worthy of a direct connection. And so I wanted to hop on and make this comment because I've been getting a lot of people saying, you know, who are you channeling? Oh, you were channeling when you're doing that. And then they were saying all these things and all I was really doing was was opening myself up to to a fearless present with a topic in mind. And so I wanted to make sure I had made this video to under, for people to understand where I come from. You know, people telling you that you are doing something or telling you that you are fitting into their model, I, I think is disingenuous because what they're doing is they're telling you, you have to believe as they do. And... And I, th I think that if that's the way they want to look at it, that's fine. But that's their choice, right? To tell someone that's, that's, that is what it is, is, trying, is negating somebody else's ideologies and choices. And that's my thought on this. You guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.